Hey guys, today I'm gonna be playing a game called the uh, day. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I found this game. It was uh, pretty fun to play a little bit of it, and I decided I wanted to make a video on it. So I do have a little bit of progress on the game, but it's not much. When you start off in the game, you have, like, when I started off in the game, I had, like, this stick and this in my inventory. Oops, wrong slot. You will have to equip the stick uh, so you can, like, attack with it. Also, make sure you do not sell, like, all of your stuff, because you could get soft locked. Also, funnily enough, these guys do not really award you any cash, but they can award you loot that you can sell. Most RPGs I know you would get like cash from these guys straight up, but nope, these guys give you gear that you can sell for money. Or equip. I only really sell the duplicates. I would recommend uh, playing uh, with shift lock, so that way you can look at the guys, but also see their attacks more easily. Also, if you're wondering what the two spell things do, which you can have two equipped, the like electric-looking one uh, deals a bunch of damage uh, in a short vicinity around you, and then the one with the like guy eating the mushroom will like give you a temporary strength buff. But it's not much, but it does deal a little bit more damage. I think it applies for about like 10 seconds. As you can see, I'm now dealing less damage because uh, point three of it was from the like skill I'd used. Okay, I'm going to die. Not really a punishment uh, for dying, from what I can tell, but I'm gonna try not to die. Go back to the spawn area. Sell these because I have uh, one of those already. Just wait. Didn't do that right. Now I've got 30 gold. So if you want to play this game yourself, make sure you go into your inventory, equip the stick and probably the spell too, if you have it. And then go over to that boat and you can sail to the first island that actually has stuff. These guys are like a DPS test. Okay, I think this is a percent damage buff. So the more damage whatever you're doing deals, the more extra stuff you'll deal. I'm gonna improve the weapon a tiny bit by getting a dagger. Well, it'll be probably better to sell this now. I'm gonna keep it. Oh wow, that's a lot faster. Also, surprisingly enough, this game was apparently made with Droplets Kit, which I do not see anything with Droplets Kit. For all I know, they're lying, and they just made this completely themselves. They definitely know how to make games a lot better than I do. Because I've used that kit. And I tried to make a game with it, but eventually I moved to the v 2 version of the Everscion kit. Oh! Yay, level up. Yay, yeah, quest complete. Ah. I 
I'd recommend trying to get the leather boots pretty quick because they give you a lot of speed. Which can help you get around faster and dodge attacks and stuff. There's also a quest, which is pretty cool. And you can repeat the same one over and over. Let's see, I am level 6. I am not able to do that quest, because it requires level 8. Also, they who do have, like, the Minecraft getting hit sound uh, for when you take damage. And I think the game gets confused when you're healing it. And just assumes that you're taking damage, so it also plays that when you're, like, healing at the campfire. Wait, no, we're keeping that. Hmm. Kinda interested in how the staff works. Pretty slow. I accidentally clicked this and it dealt three damage. So that's good to know. Oh, hold up. I think there's a damage buff though. Like, if I do this, it's a lot less. So it probably buffs this up a bit too. Interesting. probably the only weapon that deals two damage uh, compared to the sword. The sword is basically the stick, but it deals an extra damage. So these uh, two deal two damage, this one deals two damage, this one and this one don't. This game's uh, soundtrack is also pretty cool. I don't know if they made it. They probably did. Because I've literally never heard it anywhere else. Hopefully I don't get copyright striked for anything. That... Ooh, finally. That actually feels really incorrectly uh, for that there, so I'm going to do that. There, that looks a lot better. Now I have a bunch more HP. Wait, hold up, what are the stats for this? 10 HP, that's it. Okay. Oh, this area just spawns the big guys, and that's it. Kind of like the regular ones, but a bit shorter. Oh, okay. Nope. That's cool. There's a boss there. Sorry, but not yet. I'm way too low on HP. I want to get that hammer first, which means I need to level up one more time, and then I can do the quest. The healing is also definitely a percent of your max health. As uh, the more HP I have, the more HP I regen, I think. There we 
go. Should probably do the same quest over there over and over, since you can get money from it and XP. Nice. Thought that was one of the enemies for a second. Oopsie. Okay. That's a little inconvenient. There we go. Now that's completed. I'm gonna do it again. We're also the correct level for the other one. Got them. Alright, there we go. We've got a bit of money and a lot of uh, extra gear that can be sold. Gonna head back to the spawn area. Heal and then go over here and sell the junk I have. Boop, 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 boop. 60, there we go. Six HP, that's eh. Four HP, but the helmet I have gives me two two HP and a 0.5 damage. I'll keep the 0.5 damage boost. I don't need uh, more HP that much. And these ones I'm already wearing. Let's get the sword. And we'll buy the leather chest plate just because. That's a lot better. Oh, damage is completely stable now, though. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I think this one is to defeat the, like, boss of this area. Not to defeat one of those green big guys. That was not an actual one. Oh, and it sounds like someone already defeated them. Well, while we wait for them to respawn, which is in seven seconds. Let's see, there's definitely a couple of mushrooms, a lot of dirt area path kind of things, and those. Ah.
Got him. That's actually really cool. 5 to 10. Hold up. This just says 2, but it's damage is set. Huh. Okay. Pretty long time before it can hit again. It says full combo. That's actually a bit faster than it said. I think full combo might have something to do with, with something. drops to see if there's like a footwear armor or if uh, I am actually wearing the entire set plus like some leather boots. This definitely is slower. Ooh, what's that? I got like a weapon. Mush wand. Interesting. good damage and then a big slam occasionally that deals even more damage. And if we go here, yep I'm wearing the entire armor thing. Don't know what that is though, I do not have that. It's probably a drop from the boss though. I'm gonna equip this. That is a lot smaller than I thought. Seems a bit faster. Definitely, uh, uh, is definitely an improvement. Let's compare the stats. Its rate is the same, but it deals a lot more damage. The projectile's faster, I feel like, though. Next area requires level 12. I'm only level 10. I'm gonna do this quest again because I want to see if I can get a decent amount of cash from beating the boss guy uh, and selling the weapon that's dropped from the quest. Got one shot by that guy. Whoa. The slam down attack also has some splash damage, I think. Though all of the weapons kind of have a little thing that can hit multiple enemies, so I could be wrong. Sell that. Sell this. 
Okay, 25 for that. Cool. For that. That's 50 gold. Now, I have no idea when we're going to come across a shop that actually sells, like, things that can actually, uh, like, buff up our stats, or if we're just going to be relying on drops from now on. But there are a couple of areas. I definitely have a feeling that there's going to be more drops at some, or more areas at some point that you can go to. Nice. One level away. go. I'm gonna go beat the boss guy to see if I can get the cool drop. Okay, that was not a good start. Oh my god, I'm so close to dead. Got him. Nice. All right, what is this? Armor. Exotic. It would have more horrible strength, but take a side effect. Minus one HP, two plus damage, plus six speed. Let's equip that. Now I'm going zoom, and I have way less HP. I don't think there's assigned slots for stuff, though. So you can just wear three armors of whatever. Probably gonna test that to see. Huh, I have two of these. Okay, you can't do that. Can you do this? Okay, you can't wear the same exact armor multiple times, but <coughs> you can put on uh, multiple armors even if it wouldn't make sense. So you could put on a leather cap and this. Okay, I'm going to do that because I don't want to like 0.5 thing. There we go. There we go. Then I'll go check out the next area. Oh wow, they're already here. Also definitely deal more damage. A bow. I don't think I actually bought the regular bowl. Okay. As I thought it would be pretty similar to the other thing. What 
What happens if we step in this? Nothing. There's definitely a lot of effort put into this game. And I would recommend to play it yourself. Well, that's all for this video. See you next time.